Hey you guys, just skip here. Hi. <laughs> uh, got a few kind of requests and, and, and somebody out there having some, some issues trying to put an afterburner into his F-16. Uh, so I've made up a quick, quick list here. Maybe we can do a quick vid here and address a few things. Uh, Eric Schmidt, okay, he's gone through a couple of ESCs and he's trying to figure out um, the pin deal because the way this thing comes the pins are, here, let me get this out of the way here. I'm trying to do this one-handed, guys, so bear with me. I don't have a tripod or anything handy right now. So I'm kind of flying by the seat of my pants here. All right, uh, here's basically the connector, the way it doesn't come. The way it comes is it's, uh, it's together. In fact, it's like perfectly spaced for a 4S uh, connection. And his thought was being, well, there's only red, one red wire, just like on mine, okay? Why can't I go, go from the red and then count one, two, three, four? That should be four cells. It's the perfect space. Well, it's true. It is, okay? But, and it may work as long as the ESC ply, uh, wire is unplugged from the rest of the circuit. It'll still power this unit and still light that afterburner. But once you plug that ESC in, it's going through the rest of the system, and it will short the ESC out. It will fry your ESC. And the reason being is that when you look at a battery, okay, look at it from the sides. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, six cells, okay, six cells, six different pins. Okay, a positive, you're only supposed to use the outside terminals, the outside pins, because it's, it's only a positive, and on this side, it's only a negative. But think about the inside pins, okay? That's all the inside of this battery, all right? And there's plus and minus connected to both of those cells, you know, to, to both sides of, of those cells. And then those cells go on to just end up becoming uh, the last cell, which only has one discharge, which is like the negative, or in this case, this would be the positive. Okay, so there you get the entire voltage. If you jump from, from uh, this pin to say only four or four or five, you know, 4S, 3S or 4S, whatever you would think that would be, um, that's not the case because you're actually getting a little bit of both of those voltages and it will go back, travel through the circuitry, through the ESC, through the receiver, back to the ESC and, and you'll fry the BEC in the ESC and you'll fry the, uh, uh, the ESC as well. So I even tried after, uh, I tried it with a little tiny uh, ESC that I got from Hobby King. I think it was like a 20 amp ESC or something. Anyway, I, I, I did that test with it and tried to go uh, with the different pins. And uh, it worked when it wasn't connected to the circuit, but when it was connected to the circuit, it fried the, uh, the ESC. I wish I had filmed that. Okay, so Eric, that should explain that for you. Split these pins, and then you can go to the to the outsides and you shouldn't have a problem okay um forget who asked me about the missile mounts uh can you put it can you put the uh the the lights on the missiles instead of having to take the missiles off because he liked the missiles well you know what i kind of like the missiles too so i could do it both ways and in fact what i did here is just a real quick uh hook and loop made by 3M, this one's in black, so you can see it a little bit better, but it's hook loop. It's not Velcro, so it's a little bit easier to get off of there, but yet it's still really strong. Hold on one second, because when you push it back on, there we go, it kind of snaps on there, see? And then it's, I can drag the plane around by these things here, see? So it's, it's plenty yeah. strong. But yeah, then you can, uh, you can do your lights and stuff anywhere you want. In this case here, I have, I have a, have them here like this okay and I can go with the different modes you know however I want to do it right and I've also taken the liberty and I've put a mount back up on I can't snap it in from here but also on the tail and it looks actually I think a little bit better back there and then I can put my camera up here if I want to okay so that's that addresses that issue let's see what else do we have going here oh okay ah fire blade you're gonna like this um, one guy asked me about the whistles and how many did he need and uh, he's got a 90 millimeter I says probably go with all four I'm just got a 70 millimeter here and 
you know, just went with, uh, with two of them. Cut to about a half an inch. Like I said, bear with me, guys, here. I'm trying to get this all in one shot so I don't have to edit and all that kind of stuff. See? And then they just all just disconnect right off, and you can put them right back in the box. This will still come off if you want to. You can put the, you know, tabs there or just use the tape that they come with. Uh, but the other one was... Uh, Whistles, the whistles. Where where did I put them? And uh, wanted to hear it again. So let's take the nose off of here, so I don't do any damage. Turn our airplane around here. center post there by the window so we don't hurt the airplane all right hold tight here real quick and I will get this thing uh, plugged in and set up for you okay remember outside terminals Eric all right you understand that theory I hope okay bud good luck man don't burn out any more ESC's I'm sorry that happened to you buddy uh, I I'm sorry if I was misleading in, in my video I thought it was pretty clear all right uh, this you clear it up though all right, hold tight, guys. Okay, now this is something curious, guys, that I noticed, too. Once you plug the positive wire in, the thing comes on, and I believe the lights will come on. But to be on the safe side, to make sure that it's not backtracking and going through the receiver or hurting any other voltage, always plug in your negative, too, okay? Be right back. Actually, here, hold on. I'm already pretty much bound up. Find a place to prop this thing. All right, and uh, let's get the light down there. You want to see the placement of the whistles. Okay, now I'll try to get this thing here. Look back there just above the fan. You see those. Uh, See those whistles back there? They're uh, right at the top right and top left, about 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock. And make sure you face them the right way. And I've trimmed them. They're about one half length, uh, one half inch in depth. And that was about the best tune that I found that I kind of liked. And if you want to hear it, here we go. Let me set this down here and turn my light off. Sorry about this, guys. I'll leave the canopy off for now, we don't need that. Alright, now listen. Hopefully that clears a few things up and uh, 
You guys have a great week. Come here the rest of the week, and uh, hopefully I'll see you this weekend. If the weather ever clears up around here, it's still <laughs> it's still all snow and all white and nasty out here. So we're going to be grounded for a while. This is Skip signing out. Oh, by the way, uh, I also wanted to thanks. Make, uh, give Fireblade, this is for you too, by the way, and thank you. Yes, I'm still alive and kicking. Uh, Dave, you as well. Uh, shouts out to both you and uh, Dave. Dave's RC. Check them out, guys. Uh, dig his channel. Take care, guys. Have a good one. Like and subscribe. See you later.